Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Chandler or the Geek Slays and today I have the weirdest topic to talk about. So streamers lately on Twitch have been getting hit with copyright strikes from using music, uh, you know, reaction videos. Uh, I got one to reacting to the Apple event, which a lot of this stuff I feel like and am almost positive all falls under fair use. Now the music stuff, I get kind of, I also don't, but we'll talk about the music stuff real quick. What good does it do to tell streamers they can't play their music? Like nobody is coming to my stream because of your music. It's just in the background, and I'm sorry, I've found a lot of music and bought a lot of music because I heard it on a stream. That's no longer an option, so that's kind of dumb. Um, but after everybody's complaining um, on Twitter, Alex Hutchinson, uh, the creative director for Google Stadia, um, he tweeted out, Streamers worried about getting their content pulled because they used music they didn't pay for should be worried by the fact that they're streaming games they didn't pay for as well. It's all gone as soon as publishers decide to enforce it. The real truth is streamers should be paying the developers and publishers of the games they stream. They should be buying a license like any real business and paying for the content they use. So, I mean, if you buy the game, you have license to share it. And talk about it. Um, me streaming a video game would fall under fair use. That's this mystical copyright law that's pretty amazing. Uh, because when I'm streaming it or making videos on it, I'm providing my own commentary over it, talking about the game you made. Um, it also is free promotion. Whether I get one view or 10 million views, it's simple. It really is. Like, I don't, I don't understand. I, I I just want to know when the fuck has going after streamers ever fucking worked literally ever like it doesn't work like that it, it, video game companies would be dumb to try to charge a licensing fee no new gaming content creators of any sort would be able to come up after that so when this current crop stopped existing Nobody would be able to stream any video games if this is what they decided to do. But also, you have to look at games like Among Us. It was out for two years before it got popular because popular streamers played it and it made everybody in the world go, oh, we should buy this game or we should get this game. Seen people talk about people pirating games. That is not a large portion of the market that does that. Most people just buy it. And if you made a game free to play, that's on you. That's not on me. Um, but think about a game like Fortnite. Would Fortnite have gotten as big as it was if, if it wasn't for content creators? Would Fortnite still be as big as it is if it wasn't for content creators? Very few games actually can hold that title if we didn't need content creators to be popular. I mean, all I've seen, though, is... Um, people just talking about how bad of a take this is and they're right this is a terrible take it, there are a lot of laws that ha have to do with copyright that don't make sense and but this isn't one of them like yikes but then also like four hours later after he made this tweet he tweets out that he's going to be streaming among us and got offended when people replied to him and saying, we hope you bought a licensing fee, and he got all offended. You started this mess for yourself. Now, there are some people who are just outright attacking him, and that's not okay ever. But, like, you... But the people who are coming at him with actual, like, points, he's still offended by that, too, and calling that attacks. That's not attacks. But, I mean... You at this point, or if he got what let's not say he wants this, let's say he's just you know, there's no proof that he would advocate for this to happen. This is just him saying something. But you'd need the capital to get into streaming. No more journeys from bedroom hobby to gaming influencer. 
for kids that don't have the cash to cover themselves if one of their stream blows up before they are even monetizing. Like, it's wild. So somebody asked uh, Mr. Zarad's workshop on Twitter, said, uh, are we talking about a special license or just buying the game? Pay, playing your game helps devs and so streaming and has been, it's been essential to a lot of smaller game studios to be visible in an otherwise ocean of releases. And his response, Mr. Hutchinson, was most of the time playing the game just helps the streamer. People tune in to watch their show, which is built on content they didn't pay for. If their show requires game content, then a percentage of their revenue should go to the game they used, and it does when we bought the goddamn game. I don't, like, he's making points that don't make sense. He's like, if they think they don't need to pay for the game they're using, then they can make a show without using games and see how it goes. Which, yikes. But, so following this logic, all game media, independent or, independent or not, who cover the video game, should give back part of the revenue made from this coverage. That would essentially kill video game media completely. I wouldn't even... What he's saying is, I wouldn't even be able to talk to you about a video game. Whether I included pictures or not, I couldn't talk about it because I'm using their game to make revenue. That's dumb. That's not how media works. That's not how coverage works. But try to do this to streamers, because games will flop, because not everybody hears about every single game that exists. But you know how you do figure out about some of these games you've never heard of? Because you see your favorite streamer playing it. But here's Dan TDM. Terrible take. The amount of exposure streamers and YouTubers give to games just by playing them is worth major money by itself. Some games only market through influencers now because it's so strong and it works, and that's true. And his next reply, uh, Dan TDM's next reply was, You're also the creative director at Stadia. Stadia literally paid me and many others to promote their product. <laughs> but it's not how it, like you bought the game i mean when you buy music you buy the license to listen to it not to redistribute same for gaming but when i stream a game i'm not redistributing the game i'm redistributing my commentary over the game right like Redistributing it would mean that you'd be playing the game. That's not how it's happening. <sighs> like, I don't understand really what his point is. I'm not redistributing it. You are getting to watch somebody play it because you couldn't afford to play it. You didn't, you know, didn't really know if you'd like the game, whatever. But you're not watching it. Most of the time, you're not watching a streamer because of the game they're playing. You are watching the streamer because of the streamer. Like, I'm sorry, most streamers get like their largest amount of viewers per stream in the either hour before or after their stream when they're sitting and just chatting, just talking to their chat. Like, I don't understand. Nintendo used to have this shitty creator idea that was just fuck all creators where if you made a video on a Nintendo product, they did just copyright strike you and that was not okay. There's a reason that I I'm going to keep saying it until it matters. Fair use still exists. It does. And it is hopefully always going to because it's important. Now, could you try to strike me for any video I make? Sure. But I can always come back at it with the argument of fair use and I'll win. That's just how it works. So, I, I don't think this is a good idea. Yikes. So the stream, this guy replies that streamers are paying in exposure. The Alex Hutchinson guy says, which reminds me, I need to, you to come into my office next week and do some work for free. That's not the same thing. Uh, honestly. 
when you watch a stream of a game you've never heard of before and decide to buy that game, I then helped you sell your product because I played it on stream. Like, this doesn't make sense. Like, I don't understand. I feel like he doesn't actually know what he's talking about. Doesn't actually understand the point of streaming. Doesn't understand how any of it works. And it's concerning to me because this is a man in a position of power. I mean... He's the creative director at Google Stadia. Now, I want to know what YouTube Gaming thinks of this. Um, you know. I, like, it, it, they're not going to talk about it publicly, but I'd love to know what YouTube Gaming, YouTube Streaming thinks of this. Um, I'd love to know what, like, Twitch thinks of this. I'd love to actually hear from some other developers on this, which I haven't seen many actually talk about. Um, but I, I'd love to see it and know thoughts. So go ahead and let me know your thoughts on this whole situation down below. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.